What are the differences between leave-in products and products that you can rinse out, all right? So I'm gonna break down a pretty good understanding just from what I've experienced as a professional stylist for over 25 years. And <clears throat> I, me, personally myself, have never really used a ton of leave-in products. And as far as like conditioner, right? Conditioners is the biggest thing that people probably think of like a leave-in conditioner, right? What does it do? And on the flip side of things, technically, any time that you are spraying something on your hair or a pre-styler or all that stuff, those are leave-in products. You're leaving them in the hair until you rinse it or wash it out. For example, my 25 spray, it's a leave-in treatment, 25 benefits. So you're spraying it in after you wash your hair for the purposes of you know, pre-styling your hair or you know, whatever the benefits are, whether you're using Tidal Wave or a smoothing serum or a you know, blow-dry cream, whatever you're doing, those are leave-in products. They're pre-styling products. They're gonna help you achieve the desired look and goal that you want when you are styling your hair, all right? So essentially, even though they're not called leave-in products, they technically are, okay? So <clears throat> on the flip side of it, let's talk more specifically about you know, the shampoo and conditioner ranges and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, you wash your hair, I'm just gonna get this mannequin out of the way here. You wash your hair with shampoo, and then you have the option to put conditioner in your hair while it's wet, rinse it out fully, or you can shampoo your hair, then towel blot your hair, right? Dry it so it's not soaking wet. And then you can put leave-in conditioner in your hair and then style it, okay? Now, in my opinion, what happens is when you're putting in leave-in conditioner in your hair, then you go to blow dry, uh, I just feel like it, it's just too much. It's, it's too heavy on the hair. Uh, it, it's just a lot of product. So in my experience, people who use leave-in conditioners are people who don't necessarily dry their hair. It's more of a letting it air dry or um, you know, you're, you're basically like using a diffuser and scrunching it, but you're not really blow drying it with a round brush, okay? So leave-in conditioners where you're not rinsing it out, those are great for people who have maybe curlier hair or more coarse hair or dry or damaged hair, over-processed hair, or somebody who really does not want a lot of maintenance, okay? And, and while the conditioner is sitting on the head, it's acting as a treatment. So it's conditioning the hair and you're getting some benefits from it. However, okay, keep in mind that it probably is going to weigh your hair down. You're not gonna be getting a ton of volume out of it unless you already have naturally full voluminous hair. So chances are you really have to just set it and forget it and just let your hair do its own thing. On the flip side, when you are using conditioner in the shower and you rinse it out, then you go in to the styling process by using 25 spray or Tidal Wave or any sort of pre-styling products. Then you blow dry the hair. That's when you're gonna get the maximum volume and the best results simply because those products are designed to do that. When you're, when you're cleaning your hair fully and rinsing it out with you know, the shampoo and the conditioner, you basically have a clean canvas ready to work on. When you have conditioner in your hair, then you rinse it, what that's doing it's actually allowing you to help detangle the hair. It's also coating the hair in a way that uh, it's making the hair feel a little bit silkier and softer so it doesn't feel dry or damaged. The benefits are that you may be smoothing your hair out. However, you can then rebuild that volume after because there's no product in your hair. When you're piling product on top of product on top of product, especially a leave-in conditioner, which tends to be a heavier type heavy heavy cream you know you probably see where i'm going with this it's just layering on a bunch of products that's going to interfere with what you're looking to do as an end result so again it depends on hair length depends on hair texture it depends on really your end goal you know you could also use like products that i have like shadow or 25 spray or just and leave those in but if you are set on using like a leave-in conditioner then great, that's all, for, that's all for making your hair feel silkier and softer, but you can also get similar results with using products that you are technically leaving in, like styling products, blow dry creams, smoothing serums, and that kind of stuff, all right? Let me know in the 
comments below if you are using any sort of leave-in conditioner, any sort of maybe tips or things that you can share that's worked, what hasn't worked. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful and use code YouTube20 for 20% off at shop.thesalonguy.com.